So without further ado, please welcome Murata Boy. We'll give him a round of applause. Come on out. There he is. Come on out, Murata Boy. Now we're going to balance him up here. Let me explain how he maintains his balance. The secret lies in the Murata gyro sensor, which is underneath his seat. So you can see here he's balancing. Now, the Murata gyro sensor detects minute movements that will calculate the slanting angle of his body. Then once that slanting angle has been calculated, Murata Boy will then rotate a large disc in his chest. This generates reaction force. This will correct that slant. Now Murata Boy is going to perform this process over and over again so that he can maintain his balance and his riding position. And by the way, did you know that Murata gyros are used in things like digital cameras to stabilize them? It's true. That's what gives you those great looking shots. Now this here is a remote control. We call it a magic stick. And this is equipped with advanced motion sensing technology. The magic stick is equipped with a Murata gyro and a three-axis acceleration sensor. Now the gyro senses angular velocity, while the three-axis acceleration sensor senses things like the direction of slant, the velocity, and acceleration. <laughs> now by waving the stick, we can communicate with Murata Boy via the Murata Bluetooth module. All right, so Murata Boy, are you ready to go for a ride? It looks like he is, so let's go ahead and give this a try here. Now, by tilting the magic stick forward, it'll make Murata Boy go forward. And, of course, if I tilt the stick back, it'll make him do what? You're right, go backward. Now, this works similar to the way that a gyro and an accelerometer will cause the display of, say, a smartphone or a tablet computer to change the display from portrait to landscape when you rotate it. So you've got to get an idea. Give that back to you. Thank you. Now, you might be wondering, how Murata Boy has the power to move around the way that he does? Well, he uses Murata capacitors to store energy, Murata DC and DC converters to convert the energy, and Murata thermistors to limit that abnormal current. Now, playing here with this magic stick, he's going to turn his face in the direction that we point this magic stick. Now, the thing is, Murata Boy is not actually looking at the magic stick. Instead, the magic stick is going to sense the motion and then send the command to Murata Boy. And this is using that Murata Bluetooth module that we talked about earlier. So this is going to enable him to turn his face in the direction that the magic stick points in. So isn't that right, Murata Boy? Thank you so much, Murata Boy. We're going to have you come back in a little bit, okay? So we'll let him go. Give him a round of applause. So did you notice the HD streaming up here above the stage? Well, we've got a little device down here, and this is all courtesy of the Murata wireless module that's operating at 60 gigahertz. So that means that, well, you're all part of a live demonstration of Murata's products for wireless HD. That's pretty cool. Now, just so you know, Murata Boy is not the only robot in the family. No, no. He's got a cousin. Her name is Murata Girl, so we're going to bring her out here. Now, she was developed to recognize and to celebrate the contributions of women to science and engineering, as well, of course, to consumer electronics. We'll get her all set up here. Now, she was officially introduced here to the world on September 23rd, 2008, so she's still a baby. And now we'd like to introduce her to all of you. So we give her a round of applause. Hello, Murata Girl. You can see her balancing over there. She gets bashful sometimes. <laughs> a little bit about Murata Girl here. She's a unicycle riding robot with excellent sense of balance. Now, see, she'll be equipped with three built-in gyro sensors. Now, these sensors detect things like sideways and lengthways movements, and they're going to calculate the slanting angle of her body. Now, Murata Girl will rotate the flywheel that's in her chest. This is going to correct that left to right slant, and then rotate that unicycle wheel underneath there, backwards or forwards in small increments, and that's to maintain her front to back balance. She'll do this without falling off. Now keep in mind that's less than 
than eight tenths of an inch. Narrow, narrow balance beam. Now, Marana Girl has a CCD camera underneath her skirt, so she can see the image of the balance beam and then send the image back to the controller PC by using Marana's Wi-Fi module, its ceramic antenna, inductors, and EMI filters. Look at her go there. Well, then she's going to receive the command from the laptop that's going to tell her to follow the line of that straight balance beam. She's doing great. That's what's keeping it, making it possible for her to travel. That's what keeps her on that two centimeter wide balance beam. I'll give her a round of applause. She's doing a great job. Beautiful Marana girl. She's doing better than me. <laughs> so how about this? Why don't we have your cousin come back out on stage? We'll bring him back out. She did a great job. I, I was going to try to do a balance beam, but I got high heels on. I was like, no, nah, that's not going to be good. All kind of a mess. We'll bring out Marana Boy and show you how he does on the balance beam here. Now, of course, Marana Boy can also travel on that two centimeter wide balance beam. And we're going to set him up here. He also has that CCD camera, and his is actually between his eyes. And this is going to enable him to see the image of that balance beam. Now, we could also stream some audio to him, and we can do this when you hear uh, with the Marana's ultra thin piezo speaker, which is mounted just under the neck there of that bike. However, with all noise that we've got in this hall, you're not going to be able to hear it. I mean, after all, look at the kind of speakers I'm working on here. So, he didn't have a chance. He's doing great here. But if you'd like to see things like the piezo speaker and other things like climbing a steep 25 degree angle slope, negotiating an S-curve balance beam, not just this straight one, which obviously was a piece of cake, and stopping when obstacles are placed in his path, go ahead and go to our website. That's www.marata.com. Go ahead and check that out. And also on YouTube, you can see all kinds of great things that Marata Boy can do. We did great progress here, obviously. That was nothing for him. So excellent job, Marana Boy. We'll give him a round of applause. Well, what we have witnessed here today, folks, is Marana Boy and Marana Girl performing a number of riding techniques that are all made possible by Marana's advanced technologies. Now, of course, we do invite you to come on into the booth here and see how we're applying Marana's advanced technologies and products to a smart home and a smart life. Our booth highlights our products which are invaluable in enabling new features in customer electronics. And these are things that you're going to see at this and future CES shows. So keep your eye out for the future developments of Marauder Boy and Marauder Girl and come ride with us into the future of advanced electronics. Remember, Marauder Solutions for a Smart Life. Thank you so much, folks. And of course, again, I invite you to come on in. Give our, our stars a round of applause. They do all the work, I'm telling you.